is going on guys? I'm Chris Catalunya. You can actually check out my own channel. It's a sneaker review channel at Chris Catalunya with the underscore. I'm actually doing this video right here for my dad's channel. So what we are doing today is we are inst installing a Kurt hitch on this Mazda 3 2008. It is a hatchback edition and it is automatic. It is 2.3 uh, liter engine. And uh, yeah, I'm moving cities and I need to put a hitch on this car. So we already did it to the Miata. I don't remember if we shot it, but we're gonna do it to this car as well. Being that this is a Mazda 3 2008 hatchback, there are two particular hitch models that you can order from the Kurt website. You can order the one with the ball mount or the one without a ball mount. And the one without the ball mount is gonna be the 11386 design. The other one is gonna be the 11386 three that additional three makes a big difference so this is what it looks like i ordered the one with the ball now so this is what you're going to need to install this hitch onto the bumper of the car yep i said bumper because it doesn't actually install to the frame of the car so you're going to need your torque wrench your ratchet your drill uh you can use an impact drill or a regular drill you're going to need a half inch drill bit this is the ball mount that comes with the car or the hitch. It's got your car pin, it's got your hook. And then you're gonna have four of these bolts right here, four of these nuts right here, the washer plate, a 17 millimeter socket, and of course the bar itself. So you've probably already taken a look at the installation video provided by the Kurt website. While that was a good video, it was very surface level, they didn't mention that you might actually have to enlarge the holes that are currently on your car. So take a look right here on the bumper. We are going to need to take, we're gonna to need to take this bit, this half inch bit, and make this hole right here bigger. So we take that one, we're gonna do the same on the other side right here. And we're actually gonna make this one right here. This one's the one that's on the far left and the far right of the bumper. We're gonna enlarge this hole right here. So there is a total of four holes that we need to enlarge. So we encountered a bit of a hiccup. I was trying to drill into a steel bumper with a titanium drill bit. While you can do it, it's not advised. It's best to use a cobalt drill bit. Um, so yes, this is a, a half inch. And this one, I came back to Home Depot to pick up some cobalt drill bits. I have one that's a 7 16 that's gonna act as the step or the starter hole for that half inch drill bit. Again, both of these are now cobalt and this should get the job done. All right, so we're under the car. We have a total of four new enlarged holes. Uh, the, the bumper came with pre-drilled holes, but we had to enlarge them from whatever this size is. And uh, we stepped it up with a 7 16 cobalt drill bit. And then we stepped that up t uh, ultimately to a half inch drill bit. Again, use cobalt. The titanium one doesn't work too well when you're drilling into steel. So with all the holes placed, we place the bolts just to check to see if they fit. They all fit. Now, the objective is to slide the bar into the bumper. So you're going to unclip these bottom clips right here. And we're going to slide this black Kurt takes up there and we're going to bolt it because this is a 2008 Mazda. We're going to put the bolts on the, the, uh, the one farthest away.
So the first bolt is put in. We're working on the second bolt right here. And this is where the sides are gonna be plugged up to, but you'll have to use the fish wire to get it through the frame or the bumper of the car to pull it out through the hitch hole. So we kind of messed up. All right, so we got fed up with it. So we took off the bumper, the rear bumper from the car or the rear cover from the car. And this is what the bumper looks like. It's actually covered in this foam material, but you'll see the metal right here. And the hole that we need to get to, you can see me covering it with my fingers, is right here. The hitch is on the outside, hole on the inside. Now, because we don't have, where's that wire? Oh, here. So here's our fish wire. It's been used and abused. That's why we took off the bumper because we couldn't get access. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna feed it through. I guess we don't really need the fish wire now, but we're gonna feed it through. Cool. Yeah, it is. So now we gotta find the nut and uh, place it on that bolt. That's all we can do until we put a ratchet on it. How about this side? We can take it back out. Cut that sucker. The torque spec on all four bolts, one, two, three, four, all need to be at 70 foot pounds. So I'm gonna put the torque wrench on the first side bolt and hopefully you have enough leverage to get a good reading. I'm at 50 right now. Almost what you sixty one. Six sixty. Oh, I think. Two here. Yeah. 